play in round two. And this hand is pretty great, so we'll keep it. Um, obviously we're missing half of the combo, but the, we have really, really good interaction here, so we're definitely keeping. Lead with Ion, so we can have Counterspell up on turn two. Blue white, so presumably another control deck of some sort. Uh, we don't care about wall omens at all. Just let that resolve. Okay, nice. Reflecting work pool works well here. Um, yeah, I think we're just going to hold up our counter magic again here. I think there's. So, I mean, our hand isn't great at dealing with a resolved threat, so I don't really want to just tap out. Uh, selfless Spirit is absolutely fine. We will electrolyze that end of turn. So I do one Selfless Spirit and one to our opponent. Okay, Trace Bellerin's a pretty nice draw here. I kind of want to just pass though, and maybe jam one of these free drops on turn 5 when we can have counter magic up. But I suppose on the other hand, our opponent has missed some land drops, so maybe we just want to take advantage while we can. Yeah, I guess so. It's just Jam Jace, I think. Okay, great. Okay, this can be super tough for our opponent to come back here. So we just have so much control of the game at this stage. Get down take Jace again. Chandra's a good draw. But again, just gonna hold up our hand spells now. And next turn we can play Chandra and have negate or counter spell up. Blade Splicer, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and counter that. We could just kill the token with Chandra next turn, but I'd rather uptick Chandra. Now I'll play Dissipate just to get the, the less efficient counter out of our hand. I guess we should have activated this first. We can make an argument for not activating Jace because um, our opponents missed land drops, but... I'll just uptick here. Huh, don't have quite the mana to cast this, unfortunately, but... Um, we're still in a very good position. Um, yeah, but I think it's just better to then allow us to draw two more cards off Jace. It's going to be super hard for our opponent to beat us with that amount of card advantage. Vanishing the light, we'll go ahead and negate. This Chandra can be a uh, very simple, straightforward win condition here. Set an island. Minus Jace. And I guess we can just play Seagate Oracle here. There's no reason not to. Uh, there's no need to keep your text in play. Let's just take some visions here. And we'll cast it. Both these on the bottom. Okay, 
let's go ahead and plus Chandra. Can't cast for bit and minus Jace. Dark Twilight is a good one. Um, guess we can just jam that and recast our Serum Visions. Put both these on the bottom and pass ten. Oh, Vendillion click, I guess, can finish off Jace and take something. Yeah, I think I'm going to counter that. I don't think there's anything our opponent can do with five mana here, but. Gonna be that punishing. Maybe we can just ultimate Chandra next turn. Okay, that takes away our Chandra, but it's not the end of the world. We could even just um Just put a Splinter Twin on our Goblin Dark Dwarves here. I don't think that's good. We only have a few good targets. Um, so I'm just going to uptick this chase. And I guess we t play Zealous Conscripts here and just for the attack value. Um, I actually want him to block with Wall of Omens, so I'm going to take an island. And let's go ahead and attack. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and Pyroclasm, because it's really just nothing else here. And I kind of just want to incendiary flow him. Council's judgment. Kind of a dark dwellers, sure. A spell skite. Okay, well, let's go ahead and roast your spell skite. And attack for four, and then we can fireball for a win. Okay, pretty easy game. Um, our opponent had a pretty clunky draw and we had an excellent one. Uh, so we want Future Sight here, we don't want Pyroclasm. Probably don't want Roast. Well, I mean, Roast isn't bad. Has the downside that it can't hit Planeswalkers. We saw like Blade Splicer and some things though. We could also bring Siege Gang Commander. Might not be bad. I think we're pretty well set up in this matchup though. Like the Titans just seem excellent. Yeah, I think let's just run it back like this. Okay, this sounds pretty good. Keep it. It's not super far off casting Kiki Jiki. So as long as we draw another uh, Deceiver Exarch or something. We have potential, and we've got spell Skype blocks quite well. The gate can keep us in the game. Play island in case I draw a counter spell. Ooh. 
Rift Wing and Cloud Skates, sure. Hmm. Drawing two lands in a row is pretty bad for us here. Mentor of Meek, okay. Inferno Titan is nice here. That goes over the top for our opponents doing very well. A morph, you say? Okay. Ooh, brilliant, excellent. Okay, so we now just need to draw a mountain and we have our combo. I could like cast Exarch to save a couple of damage, but I think we just want to hold up Negate this turn. Hmm, possibly not. I think it's close. Let's see where they pay for Mentor. I presume they're bouncing a land here. They could bounce Spell Sky if they want to be aggressive. Okay, I'm hoping it's going to bounce a Spell Sky. Okay, well, as I say, I mean, there's definitely a chance we get punished for this, but um, I think saving the damage is worthwhile here, so I'm going to go ahead and cast the Seaver Exarch. I guess not so many of us here, should we cast the Seaver Exarch but just untap our land? In which case we sequence this badly, if that's what we're doing, but um, it's worth a thought. Yeah, I think that might be better. We don't really don't want our opponent to like, tap out for Planeswalker post-combat, so... Let's untap here. Okay, let's block Mentor here. My opponent just passes, so presumably just respecting the fact that we could have to win here. And I'm just going to run out Spell Skies and pass the turn. And we can play Inferno Titan next turn if our opponent taps out. And to be honest, even if they don't, like, um, they only have one blue mana in play, so the chance of a counter spell isn't that high. And sure, we could get mana tithed and that would suck, but can't play around everything. Okay, he's going to cancel his judgment. Presumably killing Exarch. Um, and Spell Sky doesn't work on Council's judgment, so I'm going to go ahead and negate that. So we want to have the out of um, drawing a mountain, just winning the game. Okay, a Stratus Dancer under there. I forgot that card existed. Okay, so he kills Exarch here, which sucks, but um, we do get to go ahead and Inferno Titan next turn. That's a scary card. I 
Still a few turns away from activating it if I don't draw cards for him. Okay, um, just going to jam Inferno Titan here. So, hopefully our opponent doesn't have days. Can't realistically wait a turn for days here though. Let's do two to stress stance and one to our opponent. It seems pretty tough for our opponent to win from here. Because they have to kill Spell Skype probably before they can kill Inferno Titan. Moldrifter, sure. Ooh, drawing three off Moldrifter with Mentor of Meek. That is nice. And that gets them pretty close to activating Sheldock Isle too, so... Certainly not, um... Our opponent is not done yet. Mountain would still be a great draw here, because we can copy Inferno Titan with Kiki Jiki. Electrolyte is a pretty nice one though. Um, I kind of just want to go ahead and electrolyze now in case we draw something we can play. We need to play at sorcery speed. I kind of just want to kill the flyers. I'm more worried about our life total, I think, than about our opponent grinding us out with card advantage. Maybe we can afford to take one more hit from this in order to kill Mentor, actually. I think that probably makes sense. Hmm, it all depends what's under here, though. I guess it's okay. This also stops in chunk blocking. We can go ahead and pump once here. Revelar, okay. Probably just countering that. I say I would be worried to tap out in case they remove Inferno Titan, but the fact we have Spell Sky in play means that isn't really a problem. Selfless Spirit, sure. Don't really care about that. Okay, I guess let's go ahead and pay some mana to probe. Elspeth, control and yeah, we don't care about these things. And our opponent scoops. Okay, well, we've still not comboed off yet, but um, turns out just jamming titans is pretty good. And copying them with goblins is even better. So I'll see you back for round three.